KNWA is your local election headquarters. Democratic presidential candidate Mike Bloomberg stopping in Bentonville today, just five days away from Super Tuesday. KNWA's Chad Mira is live in Bentonville where Bloomberg will speak this evening. Chad. Jennifer, we're here inside the record set up underway for Mayor Bloomberg. He's expected to take the stage around 7 o'clock, and you can see behind me the podium he'll be speaking at right in front of the United States flag as well as the Arkansas state flag. And plenty of floor, floor space here for people who want to come out and hear what Bloomberg has to say. And really, this is one of the first opportunities people have to get to know Bloomberg as a candidate. He skipped the first four states on the primary calendar, so voters haven't had a chance to vote for him yet. We don't know a lot about him yet. There has been one poll out of Arkansas that shows how Arkansas voters feel about the candidates in the race. This was done on February 7th, so let's show you what the results show. It does have Bloomberg with a slim lead at 20 percent, with Biden at 19 percent, Sanders 16 percent, Buttigieg 16 percent, and then you have Senator Elizabeth Warren at 9 percent, Senator Amy Klobuchar at 5 percent. You notice the top handful of candidates there all within the margin of error at 4.3 percent, so it's still early to say what could happen in Arkansas. We just don't know. Bloomberg hasn't been on any of the ballots yet. He's only been on the debate stage the last couple of rounds. Just since that poll was taken, he's had a couple of debates. There's been voting in other states, New Hampshire, South Carolina's this weekend. And then, of course, he has this event here tonight, just a handful of days away from Super Tuesday, his chance to make his case right in front of Arkansas voters. He's just one of three candidates we've seen here in Arkansas this election cycle. Of course, Senator Amy Klobuchar was in Little Rock recently. Uh, Beto O'Rourke made a stop in Arkansas last year. That's before he dropped out of the race. And then this Saturday, Senator Elizabeth Warren will also be in Little Rock. So she'll be campaigning here this week and ahead of Super Tuesday as well. Now, we talked to the chair of the Democratic Party in Benton County today ahead of the events he's planning on attending, wants to get some time with Bloomberg to talk about some of the issues important to him. He's talked about voting numbers so far. Early voting numbers are pretty stagnant from 2018, but he thinks events like this will help get those numbers up. I feel like a lot of Democrats have been holding back because there's the uh, debates on TV. There's this here today. So I think they've been holding back and they'll start voting heavily here in the next few days. When we first got here, a few people already excited for Bloomberg's appearance. However, not everyone is feeling that way. We have KNWA's Andrew Epperson standing by outside for us with what's going on out there. Andrew. Yeah, Chad, not everybody's a Bloomberger, if you will. There's